All right, this is 17027 Turin Ridge. It's in the same neighborhood as the Sonoma Ridge house. I'm standing at the base of the driveway to give you an idea of what you're seeing. You have to come up a fairly steep hill to get here, but it's not undoable. It's right across the street. And then here is the house. A little bit of an incline on the driveway. Oops, sorry. Hello. So, immediately upon entering, we have a two-story, almost two-story entryway with an arched opening. And to the left, we have an office. Looks like 12-foot ceilings in here. The walls are a grayish blue color. And my phone is picking up the ceiling as being a lot more yellow than it is. It's actually very gray. It's a nice, cool color palette. Alright, so to the left, just past the office, we find a powder room. Crown molding. This has white ceiling, and I believe that the walls in here are actually the same color as the ceiling in the office. And then we have coat closet, or linen closet right here. Alright. And to the right, as you come in the front door, you have your coat closet. So then when you enter the house, you've got a ceramic tile. It looks a little bit like limestone. And then it transitions into wood. And you are in the formal dining room. There's the ceiling line. And the floor and the window looks out to the neighbor's roof because the house house is set above the neighbor to that side since it's on a hill let's go ahead and go straight and then we'll come back to that hallway going through another arched doorway we're in the living room informal living room cozy space in here ceilings are about 12 feet high crown molding a little bit darker gray on the ceiling in here than the walls still a nice cool color palette and the flooring in the kitchen is the same as the flooring in the entryway. We've got a breakfast bar over here. They left a note apologizing for the yard. They said their yard guy comes tomorrow. We've had a lot of rain around here, so everything's growing fast. So here's your fridge and oven, microwave, pantry. Two sides of storage. Nice backsplash with a glass tile. It's got kind of a reflective edging around the gray. Back up so you can see all of the cabinets. And then the gas range with five burners. And on this side we have the dishwasher right next to the kitchen sink. And here's your light fixtures over the bar the island and then your breakfast nook area continuous ceiling throughout in here so your living and kitchen space is all right here central in the middle of the house I'm gonna go ahead and go back here to this room this is the master looks like they just cleaned their carpet so I'm gonna leave my shoes right here so I don't track anything on them so we have the Eight foot doors again and 12 foot ceiling. A little bit of a pitched roof in here. Pitched ceiling and uh, the carpet looks very nice. It's in good shape. They've got a king size bed, several other items of furniture in here. The windows look out on the golf course, which we will go out and see in just a bit. And we have double doors leading into the bathroom. So in the master bath, we have a closet, a cabinet. That's 
very nice to have storage right there. And we've got a dual vanity that is split in the middle. Looks like both sides are the same size and both sides are also the same height. And we've got light fixtures over each and each has its own medicine cabinet and then we've got the insect garden tub. And a window that looks through to the shower. So let's see what the shower is like. All right. Tile all the way up. And the window that looks into the tub. It's probably three feet wide, if I had to guess. But it's probably about five to six feet long. So it is spacious. And then here's the potty. With the magazine rack. Over here on this side, we have a door that is the closet. And I think they've put this shelving in there themselves. You can see all the racks, hanging racks around. Good size closet. Back out into the bathroom. And through the master bedroom to, I'm going to put my shoes back on, pardon me. All right, so we're back out here in the informal living room, I'm going to walk through the informal living room. I don't know if you got a chance to see the stone that's on the fireplace. It's limestone, rough hewn. Okay, back through the living room. Oh, they collect cows. And let's take a left into their media room. So this is a kind of narrow, but I like the way they have it set up. They've got four recliners in here, nice dark paint, and then this ginormous TV on the wall. And all these rooms lead into each other. I hardly know where to go. Okay, <laughs> so let's take a left. And we've got a full bathroom here. Where's the light? There it is. Whoop. Full bathroom with double vanity and a potty and a tub and shower combo. Same fixtures as the other house. Okay. And then over here, just next to that bedroom, that bathroom, we have a bedroom. This bedroom has a queen-size bed in it right now. It's got nice tall ceilings. So it's kind of a narrow bedroom, but the, the height of the ceilings makes it feel bigger and I believe it actually is. The window looks out to the side of the neighbor's house and to the fence. Just give you an idea. Okay, ceiling fans. And back through this room, there is a closet in here. Lots of storage. Pretty small closet but it is a secondary bedroom. This would be like a guest room in my opinion. So we're walking across the media room. There's a little closet right here. Let's see what it's in there. Yep, media closet. And then over here, they have turned this into like a movie library. Wow, there's quite a collection. So this could be, this is considered a bedroom, and this would be, oh my goodness, I have to admire their organization. So regular closet and bedroom and Farrah Fawcett tidy behind the door. Okay, so <laughs> now we're back out into the main part of the house. So from the living room, next to the cows, remember this is the entrance to the media room. If I go this way, I will find the butler's pantry. And we've got a fridge in here, storage. And here's your laundry room. Sink. And they've got washer and dryer on pedestals in here. The flooring in this area, by the way, is that same tile that matches the kitchen and the entryway. So the wood is in the living room area, carpet in all the bedrooms. 
So to give you a little bit of perspective, there's the formal dining room. So the front door is that way. All right, I've just come through the butler's pantry. We have another closet with more storage. And here is another bedroom. So this bedroom has its own bathroom with a shower, three quarter bath, and has two windows to look out on the front yard. Crown molding again, and here's the closet. One more area to explore down here. Oh, they've got the floor plans of the house. That's helpful. Because everything in this house is very, uh, it all leads into each other. There's a lot of flow in the floor plans. So it's interesting to see them drawn out. So this would be the garage. Two car garage. Got it all hooked up for their electric vehicle. Two water heaters. And I believe there's a water softener over there in the corner. Nope, this is plumbed for a water softener. There's not one installed. That's a sprinkler system in the corner over there. All right, the last thing we need to go check out is the backyard. Walking through the butler's pantry to the back door. Wow, that's quite the view out here. All right, so the back patio is cement slab right here and then it transitions into uh, it looks like plasticized lumber it's more durable durable than the regular wood for the rest of it and you are looking out over the golf course and the neighborhood and half of bernie i guess <laughs> the roof on the patio covers the part that is slab, but not the part that is made of wood. We had a decent sized yard with a walk down of five steps, wraps around the side of the house. And again, we have that fence that's about three feet tall, maybe probably four feet tall. I don't know, somewhere in there between three and four. Um, that is consistent for all the houses. So that's not something that could be altered. And it looks like just past that, there's a drop off into some undeveloped areas, but the view out here is just gorgeous. Here's the back of the house. So there you go. It's the property on Turn Ridge. And I will see you at the next one.